Our state is full of collectors of all kinds of different things, and oftentimes those collections tell a story. Scientific equipment liquidators in Big Lake buys medical equipment when hospitals are closing, and it's come across things ranging from useful, well, to just plain bizarre. In this week's Finding Minnesota, John Lordson shows us how their medical collection has turned into a history lesson. We have some stress tests here, uh, ventilators, patient monitors up front. When hospitals close their doors for good. Uh, blood pressure monitors of different types. These guys perform a surgery of their own. Uh, digital scales, pediatric scales. The scope is the thing to watch now. Taking what's no longer needed and trying to give it new life in another medical facility. We do dental, we do some ENT, uh, some ophthalmology. We, do a little bit of everything. Scientific Equipment Liquidators has helped liquidate hospitals in the Twin Cities and across the country for over 40 years. And their health care clients come from near and far. We do a lot overseas also. We have people coming in from South America or Africa. You know, an old ultrasound that's 15 years old, pretty much obsolete here, but that's the newest technology they have over there. But when you've been doing this for as long as they have. Disease tonsils, $15 a week. If you don't sell everything you take. It would help to know who he is in his prior medical history. Hmm. This is 10 years worth of patient records. February 24th, 1923 to 33. One line is one patient. When Bob Godar started this business, he never expected to become a medical equipment curator. But that's exactly what happened. With junk comes plenty of gems. Dr. Harris, do you concur? This is an x-ray machine, very old one, made by the General Electric X-ray Corporation. Doesn't even say GE. A part of the store is now dedicated to history, from the practical to the bizarre, medical relics that date back 100 years or more. That includes an iron lung, once used to help polio patients breathe. This is a probably pre-1955. Um, you lived your life in this. When they invented the new respirator, um, people didn't want to get out of it. People that were like born to it, you know. There are dozens of pieces Bob has every intention of preserving, including a quartz light therapy machine that one doctor used in the 1920s. In the manual, it says it cures acne, alcoholism, um, anemia, alkalosis, anthrax, arterial sclerosis. And those are just the A's. So all this time, all we needed was a quartz light therapy machine to uh, solve all our ailments. I guess, and again, he wasn't using those quackery. He apparently was using it. He actually believed it. Yeah. Some of what he has still has a pulse. It's alive! The collection is sold. It's even made its way onto TV and the big screen. This is a Hollywood connection for you guys as well. The fellow was shooting some kind of Frankenstein movie, and he wanted this old operating room light. We do a lot of business with the movie studios. As technology advances, Bob wants to make sure that the instruments of the past aren't forgotten, no matter how peculiar they were. I'd like to come in here once in a while, not, not every day, but uh, I enjoy walking around here and seeing this stuff. Embrace your past. In Big Lake, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. Bob told John he has found equipment that can be sold and preserved in all 50 states. Know of a person or place John should know about? Send him your Finding Minnesota ideas at WCCO.com links.